All right, here we go. Question number five from our college algebra, homework number seven in my lab math. They've given us a log rhythmic equation. They want us to solve for x. And I'm noticing there are just too damn many logs here. So we're going to have to condense some of these logs uh, so that we can make this a little bit easier. All right, so I've got it written down up here in the right-hand corner. Let's get started. First of all, I noticed that I do have natural logs all the way through, which is nice. And the two logs on the left are attached with addition. So that means that we can use the product rule and combine these two logs. Remember that the product rule says addition turns into multiplication. So the x plus 12 and the x minus 5 are going to end up being multiplied when I condense these two logs together using the product rule. On the other side, I notice that I have a coefficient of 2, and that uh, means that I can involve the power rule. So remember the power rule says if your logarithm has a coefficient, that coefficient can come back up and become an exponent. And so that'll be the natural log of x squared using the, uh, the power rule. Now, look what I've got. I've got natural log of some stuff equals natural log of some stuff. All I have is two natural logs, no other terms. And that means that the natural logs can cancel. Uh, and I'll have no more logs to deal with. But I do have a binomial times a binomial the x plus 12 times x minus 5, we're going to have to F that up. We're going to have to FOIL it, okay? Using the FOIL method, x times x gives me x squared. On the outside, negative 5x. On the inside, we get a plus 12x. Last but not least, 5 times 12 is 60. Positive times a negative makes it a negative, equals x squared, okay? So I was a little afraid that we were going to have another quadratic until I noticed that I have x squared on both sides. And so if I subtract x squared from both sides, those guys, they'll cancel. And so I won't actually have a quadratic this time. All right, so let's combine like terms. 12 minus 5 is 7x. Uh, the minus 60, I'm going to take that minus 60 and move it over, which will make it positive. And then I'm going to divide both sides by 7. And so my final answer, 60 over 7, 60 sevenths should be the answer. And I don't know if you checked out my last video, but I said we probably should check the solution just to make sure it works. And we're going to do that. So here we go. We've got the natural log of x plus 12. I'm going back to the original equation and replacing every x with 60 over 7. So next, 60 over 7 minus 5 equals 2 natural log 60 over 7. And then we're going to plug this into the calculator and see if it checks out. Let's bring up our handy dandy calculator. And the nice thing about this particular calculator is you can put this stuff in here on the left hand side all at one time just the way it looks. Here we go 60 over 7 plus 12, close parenthesis, plus. Natural log, 60 over 7, minus 5, equals. Now that's going to give me a decimal of 4.2. Okay, so if I round that to maybe two places, 4.30, or if I don't round it at all, I could just copy and paste that here. So let's say that all of this stuff right here, all of that is about 4.30 rounded. Okay, so now what I want to check does the right-hand side calculate to the same decimal value? If it does, then our answer is correct. So 2 natural log 60 over 7. Fingers crossed. Oh, look at that. 
4.30 rounded. So that's it. Same thing. So that verifies that my work is correct and that the answer really is 60 sevenths. Now let's see if my lab math agrees. 60 sevenths. Bam! I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put those in the comment section below or you can text me. And thanks for watching.